What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Doing a Kill Homing, which was bottled for the MS Society in 2021 Whiskey Fest. And this is thanks to Patreon Casey, who requested this review. Uh, I've had this bottle for a while. Uh, it's a 14 year old Kill Homing, um, which is pretty old for Kill Homing standards. 53.4% ABV and 50 ppm, exclusively aged in a single bourbon cask. So, I haven't, and again, that's why I love this Patreon program because people are requesting things that have been on my shelf for a long time and there's literally no legit reason why I haven't reviewed them other than the fact that I just haven't gotten around to it uh, I haven't opened this one in a while either. So, thank you, Casey, for that request. Okay, so on the nose, get some peat, some like honey. Something floral, a little grassy. Maybe like a little like a dandelion kind of grass note, but are on the sweeter side. And then like the most subtle hint of like an apple kind of note on the palate. Palette's great. Nice ABV, very little alcohol burn, if any at all. At 53.4, that's very impressive. Single single cask offering at you know barrel strength. Really nice, like maybe like a powdered sugar kind of sweetness to it. Honestly, like you don't really get this very often, but for 53.4, this is a really great pour and play kind of whiskey. One of those ones where you can just pour it, you know, not have to worry about adding water, not have to worry about playing with it at all. It's gonna be an easy sipper, um, which is crazy for the ABV. There's a decent vis viscosity on this one. I wouldn't say it's like overly viscous, but there's a solid, uh, mouthfeel on it. Something maybe on the like slight citrusy side, maybe like a lemon oil, like a light, light lemon oil. I'm gonna read the, um, the palette. It says bright, fresh, which I agree with. Lemon cheesecake. I'm not sure I get the cheesecake side of it, but I can see the lemon for sure, or taste the lemon. Um, tropical fruit and salty peat smoke. Yeah, I don't, I don't disagree with any of those notes. Maybe not so much on the tropical fruit side, it wouldn't be something that I say is a tropical fruit bomb by any means, that's for sure. There is something there though. So I can kind of see where they're going with that. It honestly, it's all around great. There's nothing wrong with this whiskey. It's like I said, a pour and play uh, so easy to drink and you could probably get yourself in a lot of trouble with this one because at that ABV it'll creep up on you real quick despite the fact that you could probably polish off two three ounces in not a very long time 
That's a great whiskey. Honestly, I think that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna give this one an 87. I think that's a very, very good whiskey. I would definitely buy that again. They were expensive. I can't wait to see Kilhoman come in consistently at the 12 year old range and the 15 year old range. Um, just to kind of see what like an original bottling that's a standard part of their lineup would look like at those ages because I really, I've always loved what Kil Kilhoman does. And this is no exception. Honestly, I would even go as high as an 88 for this one. It's really, really good. And it gets better as it sits in the glass and it opens up even more. So, you know what, 87, 88, you will not go wrong with this whiskey. Um, I hope there's still some available. Like I said, it's the cask that was for the MS Society Whiskey Fest 2021. Um, is there a cask number here? Right in front of my face. Uh, 78, 2006. So cask number 78. Um, hopefully you can find it because that's a beauty. Uh, thanks again, Casey. Uh, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.